v square equal to u square plus 2 a s this is one of the equation of motion which is used to solve numerical problems of this uh, uniformly accelerated body okay now i'm going to prove this this is one of the common uh, question of examination prove v square equal to u square plus 2 a s how can we prove this this can be proved with the help of definition of acceleration first we need definition of acceleration the rate of change of velocity the rate of change change of velocity is called acceleration the rate of change of velocity is called acceleration this is the definition of the acceleration now what is the meaning of change of velocity if a body is moving in such a way that every second its velocity is increasing or decreasing then the final velocity is denoted by v and initial velocity is denoted by u if we subtract initial velocity with final velocity then v minus u gives the change of velocity and if the change of velocity is divided by the time taken to gain this much change if 5 seconds is taken to go from u to v then uh, uh, we will divide with 5, five seconds if the change of velocity is divided by total time taken to gain this much change then it, it gives what change of velocity in unit time which is called rate of change of velocity and this is defined as acceleration acceleration equal to v minus u by t and exactly this is the rate of change of velocity now here we can take this t in left hand side v minus u by a the simple simple uh, mathematical simplified now if i take this as equation one why i'm taking this as equation one because i'm planning to use this equation uh, in other equation later it comes now this part is finished what we got t equal to v minus u by a this is equation number one now another part I will tell you about the motion of a body let's say if a body is moving this way first it was at rest its velocity is zero and after one second its velocity is two meter per second after another one second four meter per second another one second uh, six meter per second this way if a body is moving and if we have to take single velocity of this body then it's very difficult whether uh, what to take whether 6 meter per second or 2 meter per second or 4 meter per second the body is uniformly accelerating now, this may be like this also look at this first its velocity is 6 meter per second and after 1 second maybe 4 meter per second 2 meter per second this way if a body is moving this way then this type of motion is called uniform acceleration what is it exactly in equal interval of time the change of velocity is equal if a body is moving in such a way that its velocity changes in equal amounts in equal interval of time then the body is said to be moving with uniform acceleration this body this case also this case also in both the cases the body is in uniform acceleration and if we have to use one of the velocity of this uniformly accelerating body then which value uh, should be used this is a little confusing for this what is told for a uniformly uniformly accelerating accelerating body we cannot take a single uh, single velocity one of these that's why average velocity is used and how average velocity is uh, designed average velocity average velocity is used how average velocity is designed average velocity is initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 gives average velocity and for uniformly accelerating body average velocity is equal to u plus v by 2 and if this velocity is average velocity is multiplied with time multiplied with time then we'll get the distance covered by that body we'll get distance traveled by that body look at this 
what is what, what is my explanation actually distance covered by a body which is in uniform acceleration is equal to is average velocity into time taken to cover that distance i mean you say if we have to calculate distance traveled by this body in 10 seconds then we will take average velocity and we will multiply that with 10 seconds this way we will get a distance covered by this velocity this body okay s equal to u plus v by 2 into t this equation is obtained for uh, uniformly accelerating body and uh, this is let's say equation number 2 now I'm going to use first equation in second equation I mean to say t is if substituted by this value what we get substituting substituting the value of of t from equation equation 1 in equation 2 what we get s is equal to u plus v by 2 remains same in place of t uh, what i'm writing v minus u by a v minus u by a now if i make i arrange this in order v plus u u plus v and v plus u same by 2 into v minus u if it is same why i change because i will show you that this is a plus v a minus v and we can write now I'm going to write here S is equal to A plus B into A minus B equal to A square minus B square B square minus U square and uh, in denominator, denominator we have 2A or if 2A is taken to left hand side 2AS and U square is if taken to left hand side then what we get U square plus 2AS this is equal to v square therefore v square equal to u square plus 2 a s so this equation is proved with the help of definition of acceleration and with the concept of the distance covered by the body uh, which is in uniform acceleration and this way we can prove b square is equal to u square plus 2 a s and this equation is important which is used in solving numerical problem related to a uniformly accelerated body okay this was for today